Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dr. Khairul I as a representative from group B Will introduce you to our group member And then first myself is Burhanuddin bin Muhammad Alino Next is Hugh Kahshin Tay Kai Chong Liu Yun Lin Ko Hui Heng Muhammad Naif Zakwan bin Zakri Muhsin Kamil bin Abdul Ghafur Eng Yu Yi Si Wan Hui Nur Afina Izati binti Ibrahim Nur Damia binti Supian Nur Farah Anis binti Ahmad Sobri Siti Aisyah binti Muhammad Razif And lastly Siti Nur Afikah binti Muhammad Izani Okay, before we start drawing the model, we will sketch it with orthographic model in a sketch paper. Now we will draw the model using the uh, SOLIDWORKS application. So first of all, we will open the SOLIDWORKS application. Then at the upper left corner, we will choose File and then press New. At here, press the part and press OK. The next step is to press the top plane and press new sketch step 3 create two circle from the origin smart dimension the diameter 20 mm and 30 mm for each circle sketch a horizontal center line with length 32 mm from the origin to the right from the end point of the center line, sketch a midpoint line with total length 40 mm. Sketch lines from the end point of the midpoint line to the circumference of the 30 mm circle. Add relations tangent to each of the lines with the circumference of the 30 mm circle. Use line to draw a rectangle with 10 mm width and 40 mm length. Make sure the unit is set in mm. In step 4, we click extrude boss or base on the features toolbar and extrude the sketch downwards, except for the rectangle on the right side, which is 10mm by 40mm. In the property manager under the direction 1, we set line as the end condition and the depth of the sketch, which is 10mm. In step 5, on the top view of the sketch, we have to draw two circles which have the diameter of 20mm and 30mm from the origin. For step number 6, we have to click the extrude boss or bass on the features toolbar and extrude both the circles upward. In the property manager under direction 1, we have to select blind in the end condition and set the depth to 10 millimeters and we have to also check the merge result checkbox. For step 7, we can see the model after extruded is shown as below. Step 8. Insert the plate. In the main menu, go to insert reference geometry plane, select the top view of the part as the first reference. Set offset distance to 32mm and check the flip offset.
step 9 on pane 1 click convert entities select all the sketches in the boss x group 1 to convert Okay, for step 10, click the extrude boss slash base on the future toolbar. In selector controls, only select the rectangle to extrude upwards. In property manager, under direction 1, A, select blind in the end condition. Next, B, set depth to 32mm. C, check the, check the merge result box. Then for step 11, it is shown as below after extruded. That's all. Okay. Step 12. Insert a plane. In the main menu, go to the insert then reference geometry to choose a plane. Select plane 1 as first reference. Set offset distance to 8 mm and check the fit offset. Step 13. On plane 2, draw a 18mm center line from midpoint of rectangle. Draw midpoint line with total length of 56mm and set as construction line. At each of the end point of the midpoint line, draw a circle with diameter of 16 mm.
Step 15. Create straight slot connecting the center of each circle, which has length of 56 mm. Smart dimension the radius of the slot to 18 mm. For step 16, click the Extrude Boss or Base feature and then in Selected Contour, select the slot to extrude upward in Property Manager Direction 1. Then select Blind in the End Condition and make sure the depth is 8mm and at the same time check the Merge Result box. For step 17, click to the front lane view. Step 18, sketch a line between the edge of the rectangle and the slot to use as the ring features. For the step 19, click the rib on the feature toolbar, set the extrusion direction as inward and the thickness at the both sides and the rib thickness to 12mm. For the step 20, the model is now completed. Now is the 2D drawing button. Step 1, click New in the Standard Toolbar and select Drawing for a 2D drawing of the drawing model. Uh, step 2, select A4 ISO for the sheet format or size. Step 3, click Browse and choose A4 landscape.sldrt and then click Open. Step 4, in view palette, click Browse. Open the finished drawing model for orthographic drawing purpose. For step 5, select top, front, side and try metric view under the view palette and adjust the drawings in the drawing sheet as shown below. For 
was tab 6 under property manager select shaded with edges in display style for the trimetric view. Lastly, step 7, click Smart Dimension and insert all the dimensions in the drawing as shown below. Hello, step 8, right click on the sheet and select edit sheet format. Step 9, insert all the details required into the sheet. Autographic drawing is complete.
Step 10, save the orthographic drawing as PDF. And last step is the orthographic drawing is ready to print. Thank you.